Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to prove if a sequence is increasing or decreasing algebraically. Okay, so here we have two different sequences. The first one, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. And the second one, 200, 150, 25, 12.5 and so on. Now you should be able to see that the first sequence is an increasing sequence. And this is because the next term is greater than the previous term, okay? So four is greater than two, six is greater than four, eight is greater than six, and so on. And you can see numerically that the behavior of this sequence is increasing. Okay, now let's have a look at the second one. You should be able to see that this is a decreasing sequence and it's decreasing because the next term is less than the previous term in each case, okay? So 100 is less than 200, 50 is less than 100, 25 is less than 50, and so on. So again, numerically, you can see the behavior of this sequence is decreasing. Now, what about if you were given the nth term of a sequence and you were asked to prove whether or not the sequence was increasing or decreasing? How would you go about proving this? Well, as we should know, the nth term of a sequence is a special formula which tells you the term of a sequence at a particular position n, where n is a positive integer. So assuming we express the nth term as u subscript n, where n is a positive integer or a natural number, then we can index our terms as you can see. So the first term of the first sequence would be two, the second term would be four, the third term u sub three would be six and so on. And we can also find an expression for the next term which would be u sub n plus one, okay? So you can try and substituting different values of n and you'll see that if, for example, we subbed in n is equal to three, which would be the third term of this sequence, six, for the next term, we would get u sub three plus one, which is equal to u sub four, which is the next term as expected, which is eight, okay? Now, earlier we were able to numerically see that this was an increasing sequence because the next term was greater than the previous term. And you can do the same thing algebraically by using the following inequality, okay? So a sequence is increasing if u sub n plus one is greater than u sub n for all values of n, where n is a positive integer. Okay, so you can rearrange this inequality by subtracting u sub n from both sides. And that would get rid of the u sub n on the right hand side. And so rewriting this inequality, we can see that a sequence is increasing if it satisfies this inequality, where u sub n plus one minus u sub n is greater than zero. Another way to look at this is that a sequence is increasing if the difference between the next term and the previous term is greater than zero, it's positive, okay? We can also algebraically define a decreasing sequence where a sequence is decreasing if the next term, u sub n plus one, is less than the previous term for all values of n. We can rearrange this inequality by subtracting u sub n from both sides and we get canceling of terms on the right hand side which shows that a sequence is decreasing if the difference between the next term and the previous term is less than zero. So let's have a look at a simple example of an algebraic proof. The nth term of a sequence is defined by u sub n is equal to n divided by n plus one. Prove that the sequence is increasing. Okay, so here we're given that the nth term u sub n is equal to n divided by n plus one. Now you cannot prove this numerically by subbing in different values of n into this formula and showing that from the terms you find that the next term is greater than the previous term. Let's have a look at an example of another sequence to explain this. So here we have the sequence u sub n is equal to negative cosine of 90 n degrees. Now here are the first four terms of the sequence, zero, one, zero, and negative one. Now assuming we were to sub in n is equal to one and n is equal to two, we would get the terms zero and one. 
Now, just looking at these two terms, yes, the next term is greater than the previous term, but look what happens after. The next term is less than the previous term, okay? So choosing different terms inside the sequence isn't enough to prove that a sequence is increasing or decreasing because it effectively doesn't tell you the full picture. Remembering that we're trying to make these proofs for all values of n greater than zero. So effectively choosing different numbers doesn't cover the full span of the sequence which you're trying to prove. And so the most suitable way to prove this would be to use an algebraic proof. So back to our example. Now in order to prove that this is an increasing sequence, all we have to do is show using inequality one that u sub n plus one minus u sub n is greater than zero. Now from this inequality, we already have u sub n. It's equal to n divided by n plus one. The question is how do you find u sub n plus one? And this is how you do it. So you'd find u sub n plus one by simply replacing the term n for n plus one in each term in this expression. Okay, so notice how we've replaced this n for n plus one, and we've also replaced this n for n plus one, okay? So therefore, u sub n plus one is equal to n plus one divided by n plus two, and we get the two from the one plus one above. So we now have u sub n and u sub n plus one. Let's use this inequality to see if the difference between these two terms is greater than zero. Okay, so subtracting u sub n from u sub n plus one, we get the following n plus one divided by n plus two minus n divided by n plus one. Okay, so in order to subtract these two algebraic fractions, we need to achieve a common denominator and we can do this by multiplying this fraction by n plus one and multiplying this fraction by n plus two. Okay, so this allows us to achieve a common denominator and subtract the numerators. So expanding the brackets, we get the following. We get n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n squared minus 2n all over n squared plus 2n plus n plus 2. In the numerator, we can see that the n squared terms cancel and also the 2n terms cancel. And so u sub n plus 1 minus u sub n is equal to one over n squared plus three n plus two. So we've now found the difference and we need to simply assess whether this difference is greater than zero. And if it is indeed greater than zero, we can conclude that u sub n is an increasing sequence, okay? So you can verify that this fraction is greater than zero by looking at individual terms. To start with, our numerator is equal to one, which is greater than zero and Looking at the individual terms in the denominator, well, n squared must be a positive number. 3n has to be positive because if you remember that one of the conditions was for n to be a positive integer, therefore 3n must be positive. And of course, 2 is greater than 0. So as all of these individual terms are greater than 0, that means the fraction is greater than 0. Okay, and therefore the sequence u sub n is increasing. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. And as always, keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.